Hey everyone, I'm Anish and welcome back to Prefusion. So today uh, I will discuss about Indian Institute of Science, IAC Bangalore. So they have come out with uh, their notification, right? Like it was uh, a while back, 30th of January, but it will be valid until like um, after your gate results also, after your gate results come up. So don't worry. So we will discuss about all of the like, what are the things you need to keep in mind for applying in IAC. And in another video, I will discuss separately about the different courses, MTech courses, and what are the criteria for those courses, what things you need to prepare for the individual courses, and which ones you should apply, what are the different gate cutoffs for each of the courses, okay? And what are the uh, like uh, future um, future prospects from all of those courses, okay? And like how should you like uh, decide which one to choose and all those, all those things. So in a separate video, I'll post that. Today, I will just discuss, uh, discuss about this notification what things you need to keep in mind so first let's let's read this it is the admission notification for pg slash phd program so most of you are, will uh, apply for the mtech program so i will discuss uh, mostly about you guys uh, others can just follow along and you can like mostly things will be similar okay applications are invited for eligible applicants for admission to regular research programs so there are mainly three programs. One is course program, one is research program, as we have known by now. So research program is more research oriented. So they have MTech research also that may take up more than two years. Okay, it depends totally on the coursework and, and the research and MTech program is more course oriented. That is, it is more about you have to finish the course within these two hours, uh, two uh, years. So you have to finish the course within two years. Okay, so MTech uh, is for two years course program and mtech research is for uh, two years and above okay it is more research oriented so this is the basic difference between these two now where you will see the different like uh, different courses will have different eligibility criteria you go to the uh, IAC website then you go to the admissions then you see the programs and there different eligibility criteria will be there obviously telling all of them eligibility criteria here won't be possible okay but the common eligibility criteria we'll discuss here okay now uh, whoever are in their final year okay uh, like they can apply obviously but they have to have their like a uh, passing examination before 31st of july and they have to provide all of their documents before this 31st of october so these things you have to keep in mind okay final year final qualifying examination should be completed by 31st of july so like i'm not discussing about the research program for now i'm just discussing about the uh, normal mtech program okay so here for the mtech program right what things you need to have you need to have bachelor's degree in engineering slash technology or four years bachelor's of science it depends on course to course okay and also this is the qualifying degree this you need to have also you need to have uh, you need to qualify the entrance exam as well you need to have a valid gate score or this other examination but we are mainly concerned with the gate score so here you need to have a valid gate score but not only you need to have a valid gate score you have to also clear the cutoff now the cutoff will depend on different courses and they have provided the cutoff they will provide the cutoff for uh, like uh, in their website I will, I will try to check check that in the next video i'll try to show all those things in the next video okay so yeah this is the first uh, thing that you have to keep in mind you need to have a btech and you need to have a valid gate score and also have to have to clear the cutoff i will discuss about that more later now like uh, the valid uh, score right that in national entrance examination gate score it should be valid as on 1st august so basically whoever has gate 2022 gate 2023 and gate 2024 gate score they are valid for the admission okay now what is the selection proce procedure as i told right candidates are shortlisted for an interview based on their performance in the national entrance test so you will be shortlisted for interview uh, or the qualifying degree okay uh, and in the performance of inter interview in uh, they will be selected and in some of the departments they will have to give a written test as well and the syllabus varies okay i will discuss about that so uh, in few departments you will have to only give interview in few departments you will have to give a written test plus interview and in few departments you don't have to give any interview or written test you will be directly selected okay we'll talk about that we're not talking about external registration for now okay so this we are skipping now here as you can see what are the different course programs in engineering this is mainly for the mtech people so for mtech these are the departments in which you don't need to give any interview or any uh, written test basically they will totally select 
totally on your 100% gate score so who whoever has a very good gate score and you are not like you are not that into interviews so you, you can apply for this if you are uh, like if you don't want other branches so these branches are eligible aerospace engineering computer science and uh, uh, engineering civil engineering materials engineering sustainable technologies all these are 100% gate score now let's come to the other things so uh, here these these following departments or disciplines are based on 70% gate score plus 30% performance in interview now what i have heard is like interview is very important so like don't mess about in the interview okay so from like few of my batchmates are in iisc so from, from them what i have heard is in, interview is very important actually so they give good votes to the interview so here these are the important uh, disciplines that are in in this uh, following uh, row so i hope you are like into this so I, I will discuss more about this in the next video i'm just uh, not telling them like electrical engineering electronics and communication engineering electronics product design electronic systems engineering then instrumentation engineering microelectronics and vlsi design i will try to bring more information in the next video about all these branches signal processing is also there this is also a good branch okay so i will try to bring all this information in the next video now uh, another type of uh, this uh, disciplines are there that is artificial intelligence and chemical engineering so here you will be selected on 70% gate score plus 30% performance in written test so there won't be any interview here there will be like 70% will be based on the gate score and 30% will be based on the written test i will try to talk about the syllabus of artificial intelligence as, as well for the written test okay then computational and data science so in this case this will be based on 70% gate score 30% performance in written test and interview so for this particular discipline you will have written test and your interview as well obviously 70% weightage will be given to gate score okay so these are the like three departments like three different types of four different types of uh, eligibility criteria selection procedure that they may choose okay so yeah this was uh, one of the things now as i told right you need to have a valid gate score 2022 and 2024 and a bachelor's degree okay all these things now one thing there will be one portal coap portal common offer acceptance portal which provides a common platform for candidate to make the most preferred choice for an admission into mtech programs through gate in participating institutions like iisc and iits so you have to put there as well like you have to fill in this uh, Oh, IIC website as well like a form and you have to fill in the COAP uh, portal as well in two areas you have to fill so you many students get confused that I, I have only filled here do I need to fill there no you have to fill in both areas to the this COAP portal and to the IIC website as well okay where do you need to fill in the IIC website I will tell but COAP portal will be open after I think gate results okay so you just please visit the COAP 2024 website okay then you have to register as per the instructions that is very important now let's go to the this uh, not the phd program so this one how to apply for iac how to apply you have to obviously apply in i like in the iac website as well so basically you will go to their website iacac.in then admissions then click apply online so you will click apply online and that's it okay then uh, like you will choose your like whatever courses they are or whatever um, like form they are giving you instructions will be there and you will choose accordingly now what are the important dates websites for online submission of applications open on 5th of february and it will close on 22nd of march obviously you will say like i don't even have valid gate score right now like for the gate 2024 uh, uh, people so obviously like your uh, results will come out 16 after that you will have time just don't forget about filling up here so you have to fill up here also don't forget okay if you want to uh, pursue your mtech in isc so just remember this date 22nd of march now what are the application fee so obviously there will be application fee here for filling up online okay uh, for general it is 800 and for other categories you can see it is accordingly okay and you can apply for all programs okay apply all programs for online and these are the things that you have to understand anything else so yeah that's it for this notification if uh, like if you have any more queries and doubts you can join our telegram group like there are many students discuss so your query may, may get cleared and i will put the link to the isc website in the description below thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video